my name is H.A. Pruitt. I'm the author of Anathalian and the second book in the Anathalian series, Earthquaking. And in this video, I'm going to do a book review, not of Anathalian, of another book, of a space fantasy book. Actually, two books, two books in the series I'm going to do a review of. Um, and before I do the review, I want to say that it is so important, it's so important to review books, to tell other people what you think of them, because when you spread the word, help authors get the word out about their books, and you help them help them understand what people want in books. So the book I'm going to review today is Stargonauts and the second book in the Stargonauts series, Retribution, and both are by C.E. Stone. So this is the second book. I have it as a physical book, and the first book I have it on my Kindle. So I'm going to show you the second book as I do my review. Um, but they're both space fantasy, and the first one starts with Earth being destroyed, and eight Earthlings are the only ones who escape, the only ones who survive Earth being destroyed. And they crash land on a planet that they call Sahara because it's desert-like, and they're having to fight for basic necessities. And they also have this alien race, the Trilithians, and this human after them trying to kill them and do away with them. And so they have a lot up against them. So the positives of the first book, again, this is the second book, the positives of my first book are the battle scenes. The eight humans are being hunted by that madman, um, and he has a whole alien army. And so the book has a good amount of fight scenes and battle scenes and hovercraft fight scenes. And so um, it's really action-packed, and I think the battles are well-written. I enjoyed reading them, and I could see what was happening. And the battle scenes were fast-paced, so they were believable as battles, but they're also descriptive enough that you could understand what was going on. Another positive of Stargonauts was it had cool technology. Um, even though it's space fantasy, which means it doesn't have as much technology as technical sci-fi, it still has some cool technology. Um, the eight main characters have cool space suits. I won't tell too much so I don't give things away, but they have cool space suits. And I think those are really neat. Um, so that's one of the positives. And then another positive was the messages of hope and of letting go of the past. Um, they don't have a lot of hope because they're on this desert island and it looks, not desert island, desert planet. And it looks like they're not going to make it. And so this theme of hope keeps coming through the book. Hope that they're going to live. Hope that they're going to survive. And also letting go of the past. Earth is destroyed and the main character, Katie, is just distraught because her whole family is destroyed, her whole future, her whole past, her everything is destroyed. And she just wants to go back to Earth. There's no Earth to go back to, but she wants to go back to Earth because that's all she knows. And she has to learn to let go of the past and move forward and accept where God has put her in this moment. And so those messages of hope and letting go of the past are very relevant and very helpful throughout the book. Um, so my negatives of the first book in the Stargonaut series was the, what I call churchy language. When the characters, the characters mostly felt pretty relatable and realistic and all that, but when they talked about God sometimes it felt like someone had sat down and thought about what they would say and kind of used church terms like you would only use in church. Which isn't a bad thing, but some people may not know what you're talking about if they're not familiar with those kinds of terms and so that was kind of a downside because it sounded kind of stiff and kind of scripted and it might not come through to someone who doesn't know what those terms necessarily mean who's not familiar with those terms and the other negative I had was okay so you have eight main characters and each one has about like four titles plus their stargonaut form and so you're trying to keep up with like eight times four or five for each one and so that's like What's eight times four? That's like 40 names, I think. I hope my math is right. Um, that's like 40 names you're trying to learn and keep up with through the first book. And it was really confusing at times and I couldn't keep up with it. Like you, for example, um, one character's named James and sometimes he's called Mr. Erickson and sometimes he's called Dude Man and sometimes he's called um, The Surfer and sometimes he's called Fryomaniac. And it's just, it's so confusing and it was really hard to keep up. And that was one of the downsides for me because I know as an author you want to use variety and you don't want to say, you know, like in my books when I write about Kindle, I'm like, Kindle did this, Kindle did that, Kindle, 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 Kindle. I'm like, I'm overusing Kindle. And so I can totally see 
why C.E. Stone did what she did. But it ended up being kind of confusing because there were so many characters to start with. I kind of just wanted their first name so I wouldn't be so confused. Um, so, but overall, I really enjoyed reading Stargonauts. I thought it was exciting. I thought there was action. And I thought there were really important messages about moving forward. So the second book, Retribution, I won't tell you as much about it just because um, I don't want to give it away because the second book always gives them way more than the first book. But they are on a planet called Vexador in the second book instead of Sahara. And Vexador is inhabited by humans and so they feel much more at home. Um, and for reasons in the first book, they are in a, the Vexadorians are in a war with the Trilithians. And so that's what the book is about, this war that's happening. And these Stargonauts who have these cool suits are in the war because they can fight and they're like almost um, invincible in their suits. And it's cool. Their suits are really cool. That's another thing that I like about both the books. So um, what my main hang up in the first book was about their names being kind of confusing that was resolved in the second book. I don't know if I just got used to all their names or if she used just like their main name more, but I don't remember having any trouble keeping up with who was who. It all, like I understood who everybody was. And so that wasn't there anymore and that was really good. Um, and the characters, they felt more realistic in the second book. Um, in second books, you kind of have less of getting to know the characters and more of their action. And so you kind of see them in action, see their flaws and see their difficulties and see their problems more than just, okay, this is who this person is. And you kind of, kind of learn about them. And so they felt more realistic and relatable in the second book. And that was really good. And what else? Sometimes, again, sometimes the dialogue seemed a little too perfect, just like someone had sat down and thought about what to write. And I mean, that's what you do when you're an author, but it comes across as a little too perfect whenever it seems like they thought about this before they said it. Um, when characters just spout off what you would first think a person would spout off, that seems a little more realistic. And so it wasn't, again, it wasn't like a bad thing, but it just kind of made it seem more like a book rather than reality. And um, again, the book had tons of excitement, tons of action. There's even more battle scenes in this one. And there's like, I don't want to say and give away stuff, but there's a lot of cool action stuff going on. Lots of fights, lots of battles, lots of cool technology weapons and stuff. So um, it was really action packed. And I thought the resolutions to the problems in this book were unexpected. I didn't see them coming. And I always like when I don't see something coming in books. When books are predictable, they're a little less exciting, but that didn't happen with this one. I enjoyed that. Um, so that, those, are my reviews of Stargonauts, which is the first book, and Stargonauts Retribution, which is the second book. That's my review. So I'm going to tell you how to find out more about the author C.E. Stone and how to find these books. You can find both Stargonaut books on Amazon. The first book is called Stargonauts. The second book is called Stargonauts Retribution. You can find out more about the books and C.E. Stone by following her on Instagram at ce underscore stone or by going to her website stargonauts.net so that is how to find out about the stargonaut books and how to find out about the author ce stone and i forgot to mention that i won the second book in a giveaway and so i got these cool little bookmarks and they've got character art on them and i don't know if you can see them really well but i really really enjoyed having these because as i read through and encountered the characters i could like flip my little bookmarks and be like, okay, this is the one I'm reading about and hold it up as I was reading. And that was really fun and cool. So I really enjoyed having the character art. Um, so thank you very much for watching my review. If you read any book, please review the book. Please tell the author what you liked, what you didn't like, and help them grow as an author and help other people learn about their books. Um, please comment, please like this video, please share, please subscribe, please do all those things. Um, so we can tell more people about more books. And thank you very much for watching. Bye! If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian, or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is H.A. Pruitt.
dot com. No, you're not allowed to hit him. Banshee boy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Plot hole.